Okay. So yeah, the other weight I bought for, and this this weight is going to stay at the store. Nope, that's the shop. Is this one here? It's a tiny, I think six hundred kilo weight, but it's enough to counterbalance the the fent when I'm loading a trailer with pallets. So that's a good thing. Uh, I wonder how many pallets are in that one. To Hilltop Stores, that's a long drive. So I could do that, but I'm um, not inclined to. Okay, so quick run through where are we at? Cultivated is up to 127. I need 250 because we're working in acres um, to get to the 100 hectares required. Uh, plowing isn't an achievement. Sown. We're very close to completing the sown achievement. And that's double that because we plant oilseed radish as well. Um, Fertilize, we've blown through, yeah, no problem. Harvested, we need another 120 um, acres of harvesting to complete that one. We planted 60 trees, so we cut down six to 58, yeah. Created bales to 40. So that's all good and wonderful. Let's uh, beam back to the farm. Beam me up, Scotty. Yeah. And down to the sheep pasture, and that's how easy it is to fill the water. Do, 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 and done. Come on. Be done. Uh, it's a lot of mess. Problem is you get over 50 sheep and they make so much mess so quickly that you could be cleaning that up every three hours and uh, not making a dent in it. So I tend not to bother too much. Hey dog, supper time, have fun. So right now I think we can, oh, I've got a 2000 speed. Uh, okay, it's nine o'clock in the evening and the sun still hasn't set. I did turn the lights on in the house so I can see where I'm going. So I don't think that, oh, that does let me sleep. So it was about nine o'clock. We want mm, 10 hours. So we now have loan interest on top of running costs of property. How do I get out of here? That's the bathroom. Getting stuck on stuff. Okay, there we go. Uh, have some more food. So, a new day, a new stuff. Uh, we already have two full pallets. So we moved those at about midday yesterday. So we're generating a little under three pallets a day, maybe. Anyway, that's going to be a lot of pallets, not a lot of income. Because sadly, wool isn't worth what it used to be. Yeah, now there was a cheat. Um, obviously, there is the animal cleanliness mod in Farm Sim 17, which just means that animals never make a mess. There was a cheat if you didn't have that, and that was to drop sort of 
five litres of manure in the feed area and that would prevent the food from getting spilled. So that was a little cheat in 17. I think that still works in 19. There's the happy helper or the happy animals mod which uh, makes it so they stay clean, they stay watered, they stay fed and you pay a price for that. But I don't know problem is, is I don't know whether it's worth it for seasons and whether you can turn some of it off because I would like to be able to say well I'll deal with the food and the water but can I pay a worker to uh, keep the the area clean okay so that's that the ground is damp because we are in spring and there is stuff in the morning due Call it so we do not have any sellables except for well we've got straw and we've got hay I don't want to sell the hay because the sheep are eating through that like crazy um, contracts transporting fertilizing baling so the high value contract went that's a shame uh, our equipment. Oh, that's how we can check equipment. Actually, we're keeping. No, I tell a lie. Uh, the 940. I was going to stick that in the shed. The horse. That's the cultivator needs to be looked at. Um, but until it gets to about 40 30%, it, it doesn't really affect much. But it's good to have it at 100% because then uh, you can do more work with it before it starts to degrade. But below, as I said, I, I'm not sure exact percentages, but below 50% things start getting slower or um, harvesting less. So you, you, you keep your head as... Um, maintain so that you harvest as much as you can you keep your harvesters maintained so you can harvest at the best speed but our harvester is that one there it has 6.9 hours on it 76 percent so that's good for another whole harvest um the regular header is 81%. The reason why it's not the same as the harvester itself is because we did do sunflowers. And we have a... Oh, helianthus header, which uh, we use to harvest the, the stuff. So as for hours that we have on equipment... Uh, the Axion has 37.5, the uh, Challenger 36, the Valtra is up to 23, that's the plough, the plough's done 16.6, and then the cultivator's done 13. So we have not as many hours. I think the age also affects how quickly the maintenance goes down. So, um, it's kind of to encourage you to buy new equipment regularly so that you're not, you know, you, you maintain your tractor, it comes out and it's sort of, uh, I need to maintain it again already. So, we'll take this over to the the shop because I was planning to do that last night but right now there's not a lot of work oh I didn't actually check if there's a lot of work on our fields to be done so we will repair that it's expensive 
and we'll pull up the map and see what fields are doing. So this field is getting a little heavily covered in weeds. So again, might, I'm going to leave that until later in the year before I decide exactly what I'm going to do. Um, these fields have started to develop weeds, but really not significant. What's the growth on those? So they're starting to grow. They're still at zero stage of growth, so that's still a field of dirt. I lied. It's actually a field of green. But that looks better than that. So that is cut grass that's not re-establishing itself for some reason. Again, I, you know, we have weeds here. I could just go out buy a, a weeder and come and spot these off. But weeders cost money. Where is money? There is weeders. So you don't have to, you know, obviously if you're playing regular game, you get 100% weeds when they grow. So you want the biggest weeder possible. But frankly, for this, I'd probably use a mod that's maybe six meters wide. And uh, you might find I'd buy one before next week. Or add one into the game, into the save before next week. And we might buy one, but I'm not spending 40,000. I don't have 40,000 to spare. And so while, um, yes, herbicide costs money, it doesn't cost as much as a weeder at this stage of the game. So I consider probably a weeder to be a luxury. Now, if I wasn't doing... If I didn't buy a sprayer and I said oh, all my fertilization is going to be solid, um, I may consider at that point, okay, I need a weeder and I need the weed, I need to attack the weeds immediately that they appear. But we'll see how that goes. I might also add the little spray tank so that I can spot spray herbicide fairly efficiently. While we're down here, let's go look at our sugar beets. Very nice. Okay, so... Oh, wow. Just noticed. These are in final stage of growth, although... That looks like we've lost a couple of patches there. That didn't germinate. And we've got smaller patches in field one. Uh, field one is oats, field eight is wheat. Both of them produce straw, but I really don't need any extra straw right now. What I do need is to replenish my stocks of hay this year if we can. But, uh, also not happening immediately. We looked at the contracts already. Our money is money. We need to make some more. But it's gonna be a couple of days before we can cut any grass. So, uh, but at least I'm hoping this grass is established now and will grow normally. What I might do is dispense with, um, I think last year I cut seasons cutting so you can cut the grass all the way up to early winter and I think that's what I did and I think that might have bugged out the grass so that it's just not growing anymore um, if I'd um, cut it in late fall it would have started growing in uh, um, in winter and then got knocked back to um, negligible and then it would have started growing 
the beginning of the year. But, uh, yeah, it didn't. We'll, we'll avoid cutting any in winter. I, I'm hoping that will take care of it. Now, first sheep expansion field will be this one, for which you can have one, 500 sheep in the field. 500 in that one up there. This is also a sheep field, um, which I'm using to for my own grass. You can use a weeder. You use a weeder on weeds. Um, primarily, you would use it on a grass field. Um, but uh, the issue, the thing is with weeds is, um, yeah, you have to catch them right at this point. If I leave it another day, those weeds will have flowers on, and weeders won't work. Um, and also if the crop's grown past the first stage. So this I consider zero stage of growth because it's the lightest green. Um, let's turn the grass back on. And there, so this is the zero stage of growth. This I believe is stage one. So the second green color. This is stage two third green color this is stage three the final green color so if we I can't beam to that quickly but if we jump to there then run up the hill where's the hill there. Da, 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 da. Run, 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 run. So this field is at a growth stage where, what did I say, that's at, that's at stage one growth. So this is at a growth stage where I could still use a weeder on it. The problem is, is the weeds have flowers, so a weeder doesn't work on these weeds. Um, there may be some weeds in here which are just starting out. But to treat yeah you know, to treat this field I, yeah I'm going to have to spray herbicide on many of those weeds so you go with it. Um, now this field here is on its final stage of growth before it becomes ready to harvest. You cannot use a weeder on this field because the crop is too established. So if I started getting weeds in here, yeah I can't use the weeder. But grass stays short, so you can. I think you can pretty much use a weeder on grass any time you want. But it is coming up to one o'clock now, so we are on day six, late spring. Um, there's a couple of little things that I could do. I'll probably do the um, the spraying contract and we may be speeding through the next job we need to do on our farm is going to be cutting grass i hope so we'll see how long that takes um, i think they'll be on zero stage of growth through the first day of summer um, it should then start growing through the stages um, from second third fourth day of summer hopefully by the end of summer or sometime in fall we'll be able to cut it the problem is is if it's if it's fall before we can cut it we're going to have problems trying to create hay and that's all the hay we have you can see the green bales were the ones we bought when we started because i started off with sheep on the farm immediately everything else we harvested last year I think from both fields. I think we did a, a silage cut first because we couldn't get the uh, field dry enough and then we did a hay cut second and then a silage cut first but that hosed the field usage. Um, this field, I thought these fields were raising um, fields. And if that was the case, this should auto fill with grass. 
from now onwards. This field over here is also ours and is fully grown. It's not fertilised, it's not prepared in any way. But since we don't have cows, I could cut that field. Let's um, go back, turn off grass, turn on lands. So yeah, this is the cow field. So I could cut the grass in that field and drop it into the silage pit and that would give us some, uh, some silage for the early year. Maybe we'll do that today as well. So that's because we're late spring. If we cut late spring, we can cut, we can recut that field late summer and late fall as well. Um, it's not going to be a lot. It's not, but it's, it's going to be some income. So it's something we can do. And we do have two silage pits, so if we do end up with a situation where we're um, we're not cutting all of the fields at the same time, uh, it's not going to let me jump up. It's going to let me jump up there. So that's our second silage pit. So we do have the luxury of two silage pits on this farm, so we can do two, two silage or simultaneous silage production we could have cows and have in use silage in one bunker and uh, collecting chaff in the other one yeah there's options but uh, for now I think uh, that's mostly done should we harvest will take several weeks real life to harvest yes it will be very time consuming I am kind of hoping we can we can get it now. I've got two fields of sugar beet, so that could be uh, what's the word for it? Um, it could be a little bit excessive, but uh, it is what it is. We'll harvest what we have when we're when it's available. Plus, the sugar beet should be harvestable fairly early. Can be harvested when they're damp. So it's, it's not as concerning as, say, having soybeans in the ground, and they're not going to be ready until late fall. And there's good chances that it is going to rain in late fall, because that's what it does. Um, that's prices. Um, explanation there. We were playing in hard mode. I dropped it down to medium mode, so the prices double effectively on commodities because hard mode is just going to be too expensive yeah we're not going to get any income for a couple of years so this is re-establishing the zero line so you look at these steps they're going down a little bit these steps will step down a little bit um, there may be a jump there I don't know why that was uh, wind's wool good This is a good price for wool. Wool's actually got more valuable and started to take a drop off. And it looks like it'll drop off and then it'll jump back up again. But that should be the established limit line. That should be where the price of wool is. But it looks like it's there's been a big jump somewhere along the lines. So I don't know what that's all about. Uh, crop rotation. Sugar beet. Hmm. Canola. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, that's bad. Uh, let's put wheat in there. Okay, planting sugar beet after canola is bad. Doing uh, doing that creates for a good uh, sunflowers is pretty much as you can see sunflowers is pretty much the same. If I change that to barley, nothing changes. So that's a good rotation. Um, so canola sugar beets is bad. Potato 
Beats is very bad. Trigger Beats is bad. But Oat Sugar Beat Wheat and then Sugar Beats again. It's not as good as the the sort of the I call this the cereal group and canola sunflower, but those sugar beet fields will need to be um, will need to be wheat barley oat or corn next year. Um, they can be canola the year after, but yeah, I don't. And because all the fields up at the top there, so if we go back to the map, these two fields are cereal crops. So one or both of these could be sugar beets next year. This one also has to be a, a cereal crop because it's sunflowers, which is the same family, yeah, the same harvestable group as canola. Okay then. Matter of interest, how much is that? Oh, frightfully expensive. So maximum 250 sheep during lambing season so that we don't lose out on any potential income from extra animals. Right, well, I think I'm done. It's Saturday. There is stuff to do. This is Oakfield Farm. And... Hope everybody has a good weekend. I will be back next week on Saturday with some more Oakfield Farm, but for now, I'm out of here. Bye.